In today's tutorial, we'd like to first import an image and then make it into an image that we can modify and manipulate. It, uh, manipulate. This is going to be called a vector image. So what we've been doing, all of the skills we've been learning, we can apply within this image. So the first thing I went to do is go ahead and save an image from the internet. I searched for Mini Cooper. I like this Mini Cooper. Um, just in case you're unfamiliar with saving, you just kind of right click on what you want and save image as. Save it to a location that you can remember. And then back in Gravit Designer, once it's been saved, I'm going to import the image, which we haven't yet done. So we're going to go to File, come down to Import, which makes sense. I want to bring an image in from the outside. I'm not using drawing tools or anything. And there's two choices. I'm not, I'm not working with fonts right now, so the only other option is to place an image. And I have this saved to my desktop as Mini Cooper. So I'm going to go to the location where I saved it as, select my image. You might have many images saved. And I have this image. So working with an image in this program, you might have a very large image that just imported and you need to stretch it out. So of course we know we have these handles, but I do want you to know if you don't want it to get all stretchy and distorted, um, don't just grab a handle and drag it, but if you use your shift key down, so I'm holding my shift key down and I'm using a corner handle and that maintains all the proportions. It doesn't look like an oddball image at this point. So I have an imported image. But now I want to like, I don't want this blue car, I want it to be greens, shades of green. So under modify, I'm going to jump down to path because um, I need to convert it to different paths. And there's only diff one image available because it's starting as an image from the internet. I brought something in. I want to vectorize this image. So it does take some time once you, um, de depending on the size of the image, that one didn't take a long time because it's a very small image. And I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And as I resize it, you can see all these little outlines around it. That's because it went through and vectorized this image. I didn't resize it right. I left go of my shift key. So now I have um, different parts that I can mess with. And what I mean by mess with is I can kind of make this my own image at this point. If I want to, I have anchor points. I can change the style of this car. What if I want to start changing this car into something slightly different? Um, I can start changing the way this car looks. I can even start changing the color of this car. So I want to take this darker blue and I might want to make this a darker shade of green. So I'm going to go in here to my greens and pick a green. But then I want to find all of that darker gray. So I'm zooming in. I'm using Control Plus to zoom in. I'm going to find that darker gray color. And I'm going to uh, use my pick and make sure that it all matches. So I'm using this darker gray. Use this pick a color and try to match that up and get all the dark grays so it all matches. And then once I have that done, which I know I don't have done, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to go on to the lighter gray. So here's a lighter gray uh, shade. So I'm going to set my first color. Um, that looks really good, actually. It's a lighter shade of green, um, but that's what I'm going to use for these other lighter grays. So now I'm going to go to some more of these and try to match that up. But I can take any image and I can start making it my own. If I need a penguin to work with with something, I can bring in an image and start modifying the penguin and or retracing the penguin with a pen tool. But I can convert that to um, a vector image as well. And if I don't like some of these areas, I can delete them as well. So uh, I did have a message I had to get out of there, but I can take some of these parts out. I don't need them anymore. I can modify my image altogether. And now I have my own image to work with. I can recolor it. And again, that was, I have to save an image and then I can import the image. And then under modify path, I'm going to collect, select vectorize the image. Those would be the steps to import an image and then change it into something I can use.